It must have been something of a nightmare over in the costume department each time a new series of Doctor Who came round, because the TARDIS could find itself literally anywhere, back in time, in any country, forward in time, on any planet. However, did they manage to keep us up? With us now is costume designer Patricia Godfrey. Patricia, we've already seen Debbie running around in the old Honor Blackman costume. Now, what's this that I'm in? That's part of the costume that Wanda Ventham wore for Time and the Rani. Right, well, this is one of your easier costumes. Now, we've got one here that is a Cyberman. Now, how is something like that put together? Well, we use specialist uh, costume makers who are more used to making these types of costumes rather than conventional things. And there's a lot of inventive use of tubes and ping pong balls. Um, anything unusual that uh, one can find in life. Um, the, the little bubble packing, for instance, the clear plastic stuff, is very effective when it's been sprayed. Wouldn't something like this get very hot and sweaty? It's and... very uncomfortable, yes. But there's nothing yes. you can do about that. You don't put in special pads inside <laughs> or something to help the well, characters along. They, they wear a T-shirt underneath, which helps to absorb the perspiration. But, of course, um, after a long period of time in the studio under the lights, it can get very uncomfortable. Right. Well, we've got all sorts of exotica here, including this glorious pair of boots here <laughs> now how are these made well they are in fact cut down wellington boots right. good old green wellies which have been sprayed with silver paint um, and we found with a lot of the monsters we did use a lot of derry boot type heavy duty the early doc martin boots and if they're covered in latex texture you can achieve all sorts of wonderful effects and it's very cheap too and yeah. practical because the secret of doctor who really is the way that you kind of make something out of nothing mm. isn't it I mean, even here, you've got the Peter Davison costume, which you've put together. I mean, it's, it's unique, and yet it uses the most kind of simple and obvious day-to-day -day items. Absolutely. There's a, a cricket sweater, an ordinary shirt, which has had the Doctor Who question mark embroidered on it, which makes it totally different, totally unique from anybody else's costume. And this, what, what, what made you put this over? Um, well, it's toning um, the effect with, with the jacket, which was based on the Victorian frock coat, and it gave the appearance of a cricket outfit. But these sort of things are quite simple compared to some of the, the fabrics that you have used. What other fabrics have you used to make items? For monsters and things like that, we tend to use layers of different fabrics and uh, using rubber guns, latex rubber guns, which, again, you can achieve good squiggly effects on thick felt. Um, that that is lyrics. beautiful, as indeed are all these costumes here. Patricia, you must be very proud of yourself. I think I'll try these on on the way out of the studio. <laughs> Thanks very much for joining us today. <laughs> I think I'll try this one too.